Hello friends, welcome to my channel Sushant Chess Voice. Today we are at the next topic and we are going to look at an endgame study which can be used for improving the imagination, imagination of pieces also and imaginative skill in the sense that how we can make an idea here. So it's white to play and win. So we are seeing that white has an extra mind but black has plenty of pawns for it. And of course like in any study position there is an unique idea and white has to find and there is only one way to win. So let us look at some candidate moves. We can see the mating pattern forming here. The knight wants to reach f7 and then and then mate would be possible. So it looks like after h6 black can save himself. So the first move h6 is the main candidate. We should look at it. But we will soon see whether h6 works or not. After h6 see gh is almost forced. Because if g6 the knight simply reaches from e3 to f7, we will see that. So g takes h6, knight e3. Now it looks like after c3, knight c4 and see after h5, there is knight e5. But do not two things here. One is the move h6 here. Okay. And second, after any 3 black has the more precise h5 when after knight takes c4. There is just the move h6. Even black can consider the move f4 over here. When after any 5 h6, we will have a similar position. h6, any 5 use the idea f4, g takes f4. Now h4 allows ng6. So first go c4, forcing the knight to take on c4, and now h4. And now we realize that. It's a very difficult time for the knight because see knight can come and stop the h pawn. Maybe it can go any 3 h3, nf1, but then after c5, it is black who ends up winning. Thus the move h6 fails for white. So what else white can do? There is the only other move see knight e3. Otherwise black gets to play h6 easily. Now the point is that here also h6 looks reasonable. But after knight c4, look at the blockade by this knight. Both c pawns, the e pawn, the f pawn, everything is stuck. After king h7, knight e5, we see that black is in a very badly placed zuzuan. See after king h8, kf7, the king comes and collects the e and the f pawns, knight can handle the c pawn. White would win the game. But the main line, the interesting line is the point. Knight e3, c3, when the black pawn looks very dangerous, it looks as if how will white make the progress here. Because see, now after knight c4, there is the move h6 and there is no time for any 5 because of c2. So this is where white has to show his skill. This position is the important one. So do try to solve from here. See here white plays h6, only move for white. See, now g takes h4. I talked about g6 before. If g6 now we can see and c4, c2, and e5, c1 queen, and f7 mates. So g takes h6 forced and here comes the strong g4. This move is necessary. The point is if f takes g4, knight g4, h5, we are not letting the h7 pawn move with the move knight h6. And see after c2, knight f7 checkmates. But now it looks as if the c pawn has become very dangerous, right? So c2, now if knight c2, there will be fg4. Here white has knight c4, strangely allowing the c pawn to queen. But now see knight e5. This is the c imaginative point both ways. The position to be imagined and to spark our imagination. See, black is a queen up, but there is no way to control the f7 square. And next move would be knight f7 checkmate. It was not a very difficult study, and some might find the variation where black plays h6 a bit boring, but I thought that these kind of studies are very useful for developing our calculation and imagination. Do let me know how you found this lesson in the comments below. Thanks for your time.